I finally found it. It is the thing that I have been looking for for so long. It is the ultimate Lego sorting device. I came across it on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, take my money. I need one of these here. So in this box is the ultimate Lego sorter. I have not opened it yet. This is how it came shipped to me from PeteSquared23.com. I was happy to see that this handcrafted device here was safely delivered by UPS and nicely bubble wrapped as well. You're probably wondering why I'm working on the floor. That's because this thing here is pretty heavy. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good noise. Because it is a beautifully handcrafted wood product. Oh, it smells so good. It's like fresh wood, pine maybe. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it just looks so clean. And look at this. Oh yes, the ultimate Lego sorting device. You'll see that it's sitting flat on the ground right now. That's because there's just a little bit of assembly required. We've got to install the wheel so we can make this thing jiggle jiggle. There we go, we've got our nice wheels installed on the base. Now it can move around nicely there. So these are the different layers here. This is obviously the smallest one. Lego can't fit through that. You know what that's for? Collecting dust on the base layer. Isn't that a good idea? But you can see they all interlock nicely here because they have these grooves and they all just fit on top, just like that there. And of course the wheels have the lock on the bottom here so you can lock them in place. All right, it's time to reassemble our unit. Just flip each layer on, just like so. So each one has a different size of hole drilled through it. And you'll notice that these holes are nicely beveled. Look at that craftsmanship. Now when you reach in there, you're not going to cut your finger on a sharp edge. Oh, it's all just so smooth. So of course, we're going to sort some Lego through this beautiful sorter here right away. So I got this from PeteSquared23.com. And if you use code BRICKC in all caps with the letter one on the end there, it's popping up on the screen now you can save $100 on one of these units. They're not cheap, they're uh, 700 bucks, but I mean, they're handcrafted machines here that allow you to sort Lego and it's just handcrafted and beautiful. In my opinion, as a Lego collector, I needed one of these and if you're a big Lego collector that has lots of bulk pieces, in my opinion, this is definitely worth getting. So once again, it's PeteSquared23.com. And if you use code BRICKSY1, you can save $100 on your purchase. And also by using that code, it helps out the channel. I did pay for mine to have it here today because I knew I wanted one. And these things are super strong. Check it out. When it's not in use, you can literally sit on it. It's that strong. <laughs> you can use it as like a table, put it somewhere in your Lego room. It's pretty cool. It's a neat concept. Can we all just sit back for a moment and take a look at this joint work? Ooh, as a Lego fan, that is extremely satisfying, especially considering this is like a handmade product. Well, of course they use machines to build it, but by golly, that looks incredible. As you all know, I sort all of my Lego by part type and by color. So getting it down to this takes a long time, especially when you're doing it all by hand, just sort of dumping it all up on a table. So I presume that this device here is going to help us sort Lego and significantly reduce the amount of time that it takes to sort Lego. 
A lot of people actually ask me, Jordan, how do you acquire all of this bulk Lego? There's actually a few different ways that you can do it. You can order bulk Lego through bricklink.com from private sellers, or you can also order it from lego.com using the Bricks and Pieces or Pick a Brick service. You can also buy bulk Lego from the Pick and Build wall at the Lego store. But I mean, that stuff for the most part is gonna come pretty much sorted. So why do you need this thing? That's because the cheapest way to get bulk Lego is to take your old collection from your parents or buy it from local classifieds. And when you buy it from local classifieds, it's cheap, but it does not come sorted. And you can see I have bins and bins and bins full of unsorted Lego. Honestly, if you're a fan of Lego and you wanna try and build mocks, or if you wanna try and build a Lego city, in my opinion, it is very necessary to have a bulk Lego collection because you just never know what pieces you're gonna need when you're trying to build a mock or when you're trying to do landscaping in a Lego city or build large structures or pretty much anything having to do with Lego, you're gonna need a bulk Lego collection. Plus, I just think it looks absolutely fantastic to have a large Lego collection that's all sorted by part type. It just pleases me so much and makes me happy. All right, so who's ready for this? I know I certainly am. This is my biggest bin of unsorted Lego. Granted, there are some things that are like sort of pre-built in here. Oops, so I know those will probably stay on top. I don't know if I wanna dump this whole bin in because this might be more than the machine can handle. Machine, I'm calling it a machine. The machine, but let's just dump some in. We'll start with that. Hey, there's a Nalog business card. There we go, Northern Alberta Lego Users Group. Perfect, okay, let's start with that though. So, we'll pour that in, we'll shake it all around, get aggressive with it. Probably do a little bit by hand, right? So obviously it's gonna leave all the largest stuff on the top and all of the stuff that I need to just part out or whatever it may be. Things that I didn't use in sets or whatever it is. Large green plate, that's awesome. Look at that, six by six tile. Sweet. This thing right here, awesome. Some good stuff in here. Some good stuff for uh, mills plating and all that too. Nice large black brick. Perfect. So then, come down to our second layer here. All oh, the parts are getting a little bit smaller. We got some smaller plates, right? We got some palm leaves, panels and stuff like that. Not bad, nice big blue brick. Yeah, so it makes it pretty easy because now I can just go through and grab all my black plate, get rid of all that stuff. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a tomb in there, very neat. Then come down to our third layer there. Okay, probably could have dumped some more Lego in here. Not bad. I think uh, what I'm really excited for is getting rid of all of the little tiny, tiny stuff, but I just dumped the beginning of the bin, but you can see the tiny, tiny stuff makes its way all the way to the very bottom. See, all the tiny, tiny stuff, yeah. Like all the one by one circular plates and tiles and studs and all stuff like that. So let's dump more in there. Let's uh, experiment with a little bit more. I think uh, mastering how much to put in there at a certain time would uh, be relevant too. I mean, some of those other smaller bins that we were doing or having a look at earlier uh, had a lot of small stuff in it. So I don't know if it'd be necessary to pour something with a bunch of small stuff in it into the bins, but there we go. We're getting some smaller stuff worked in there now. Let's try that, that's, that's quite a bit. <laughs> you don't realize how much Lego is in these big, big bins. There we go, now we can hear some Lego moving around in there. Really jostle it. Okay, I'm excited for this result here. Let's see how that bottom bin looks now.
Oh yeah. Hey, look at that, Star Wars tile. Nice. There we go. That's the results we're looking for. Look at all that small stuff down there on the bottom. And boom. Go through, pick out all those cylinders, pick out all the one by ones, all that small junks on the bottom there. Let's see how our dust tray's looking here. I guess my Lego's not that dirty because there's not a whole lot of dust on there. Definitely a little bit though. So the dust tray's working out nicely there. But look at that. Boom. It's gonna make it a lot easier to sort. I'm sure you could jostle it around a little bit longer too, or you could even jostle it around as you come to certain layers. And then more and more stuff will sort of fall through. I love how it has the wheels though. That is definitely necessary. You know, Lego has actually attempted to make something like this in the past. It was like the large head sorter thing. And <laughs> that thing sort of sucked, but I can already tell that this one's way better because it has more layers and it just has like that handmade sort of feel to it. And plus, I think what I'm gonna do when it's not in use, it could potentially sit right over here and be like a little display cabinet for a large Star Wars set or some smaller sets, things that are easy to move. But it might be pretty cool to display like specific sets on there like the slave one or something like that and sort of cycle it out over time as long as it's easy to move and you know they look good there and they're not really obstructing the view of anything else now unfortunately this machine here <laughs> once again machine doesn't give me more time that i can use to sort but it does reduce the amount of time it takes to sort it's a pretty cool one i'm glad that i have it here as a big lego fan and a big lego collector I'm happy to have it in my collection here. Now I feel confident buying stuff on local classifieds because I have this thing here to help me sort. I still need to find more time to sort or uh, one day teach my kids how to sort. <laughs> Hopefully that'll work out for me. Everybody let me know what you think of this awesome sorting device by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Farewell.